Right now at 11, let it snow. The Bay Area is seeing a winter weather event, and this is only just the beginning of our chances for snow. Our team tracking what we all can expect this weekend. I want to say a good morning to you. Thanks for joining us for our midday newscast. I'm Marcus Washington. And I'm Laura Garcia. And a reminder, you can also watch us live on Roku, Amazon Fire, and online as we continue to track that rare snow event across the Bay Area. In fact, we've got some new video to show you just in from NBC Bay Area Sky Ranger. Look at that. A dusting of white snow now adorns the higher elevations in Fremont. Really beautiful sight to see from a bird's eye view. Yeah, our microclimate weather alert team coverage begins right now for you. You have us, uh, you know, a lot of people have been seeing this. You've been sending us video <laughs> of what you're seeing out there in your backyards, tagging us at NBC Bay Area. Abby Fernandez has that in just a few moments, and meteorologist Carrie Hall, as well as Cynthia Pimentel, they are standing by tracking this winter storm's impact, not here just at home, but also down in Southern California. That's right. We've got a team behind it. Let's kick things off with NBC. Bay Area's Chris Sanchez live from the summit of Highway 17. You've seen just about all kinds of weather, including the snow. Oh, yeah, we saw snow, we saw rain, we're seeing a little bit of fog right now, just about everything. I even saw a rainbow when I drove off to get a little cup of coffee, but the best part, as you said, was the snow. This is ski week for a lot of Bay Area students, but Lola Ortiz and her dad didn't have to travel to the Sierra to get to the mean? snow. It's pretty fun. I'm, I'm like, Dad, it's impossible for it to be snowing right now, but <laughs> at, like, in California, yeah. I get all wrong. At the summit on Highway 17, the snow was falling fast enough. At times, it didn't even look real. I knew that it's going to snow, but I did not know that it's going to snow a lot. Today morning, I uh, started like quit my morning run, and then I was like, I will miss my run today for the snow. <laughs> so it's it's amazing. I'm enjoying the snow. Shashan Yadav of San Jose gave up his run. Joaquin Gomez of Santa Cruz uh, gave up his commute to Mountain to View. So I woke up very early, and my plan was to come here and then go to the office, which is in Mountain View. Uh, but probably I will go back home uh, because I think it will snow uh, in a couple of it, it will start snowing in a couple of minutes. Boy, was he right. After sunrise, there was enough snow to make a snowman. Before sunrise, it was snowy enough for Caltrans to call in the snow plows to go up and down the Santa Cruz Mountains. And check out Bob Riddell's view from Durham Road at 680. Folks in Fremont looking up at Mission Peak got to see a pretty dusting of snow. And viewer Perry Bates sent us this video of his pool in Lake Mendocino looking ready for a polar plunge. But of all of the video we saw today, this was the best. Kids of all ages making memories. <laughs> Those little kids were just about the cutest things. Uh, second, well, they were first to the dogs. The dogs were cute too, but the kids were definitely cute. And I've been here up, a, up here a couple of times uh, covering the snow, but I have to say this is the most snow that I've seen in my time here. Carrie, I think you might agree. Yeah, and it's not over yet, Chris. You're most likely going to see more, especially tomorrow morning, but we are seeing it coming in waves. So it does stop long enough at times for it to melt, especially as we approach our noon hour. But it's been so hit or miss that not everyone's seeing the same kind of weather. And it's going to be moving back into that area near the summit very soon. We've seen some heavy snow in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And also it transitions to snow, uh, that snow transitions to rain as you go down in elevation. So the South County right now getting in on some heavy rain around San Martin and Gilroy, but also for the North Bay, we are seeing a mix of rain and snow showers and a little bit of everything in between. So it's coming in waves. Other areas are getting some peaks of sunshine and that's where you get those rainbows. But we are also going to see a lot more moisture starting to ramp up as we go into this evening. As the winter storm warning continues, that will be in effect for all of these areas in pink until 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. So we do still have a lot of time for all of this to continue to accumulate. Marcus and Laura. Yeah, of course, all this snow is beautiful. We love you've been sending us those videos and photos, but that winter weather also leaving thousands of people without power. And we know how cold it is. Our digital journalist Abby Fernandez joins us now. And Abby, how many people don't have power at this hour? You've been checking. Yes, I have. And as of 
Earlier this morning, 6 a.m., PG&E's latest report, about 23,000 people across the Bay Area are still without power. The bulk of those residents living on the peninsula, there are about 20,000 of them. I'm going to show you a map. This map, by the way, is available right now on NBCBarea.com. You can click on it. It's interactive. You can check your area. And as you can see, these dots in green um, are customers, less than 50 customers affected. Those in yellow, if you can see there, are less than 500, and those square in orange are about 500 to 5,000 residents affected customers here. And if we zoom in, you can see the bulk there are in Atherton, Menlo Park, East Palo Alto. If we go down south in the South Bay. We also have a lot of those outages happening there. Um, again, you can see this right now on NBCBayArea.com. I do want to show you some images because pictures tell the story. Let's take a look at some snow footage from around the Bay Area sent in by our viewers. Here we have the Oakland Hills snow, some snow video from Patty looking really nice. You can see that snow falling down. The trees aren't covered with blanketed with snow, but here we do see some hilltops in Evergreen Hills near San Jose in San Jose from Turu. Very, very nice views to wake up for sure in the morning and take a look at this. This is some heavy snow. This is up in Sonoma County, Annapolis. This was sent in by Brody. Really nice. This, look at that table covered and the pet right there. And the last video I want to show you is from Lucas in Boulder Creek. That snow is coming down. I wish I was there. Now, if you have videos or pictures of the weather in your area, we want to see it. Tag us at NBC Bay Area on your social media post. We're everywhere Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. You can also tag Carrie at Carrie Hall Weather on Twitter, and we might show your photos here on air or online. That's right. We really appreciate everyone who's been sharing. We're all in it together here in the Bay Area. But you know, this latest winter blast certainly going above and beyond when it comes to the potential impact as well. While the Sierra may be used to all the snow, you don't normally hear the phrase blizzard warning in the same sentence as Southern California. NBC Bay Area Cynthia Pimentel is in our newsroom right now. And Cynthia, drivers heading south, they're going to have a lot to think about. Not only headed south, but north and everywhere in between our state. It's a cold and stormy end to February. It's a dynamic weather pattern as we get into the thick of it, leaving many families hopeful of some last minute ski week plans reconsidering their travel. We have different layers of storm warnings and advisories going up to Lake Tahoe, as well as in the greater Los Angeles area. And I'll get to them in just a moment. Let's go to Tahoe, the Sierra, heavy snow and gusty winds are possible with little to no break until maybe Sunday. Cold wind chills are in the forecast too, which could cause frostbite on exposed skin in as little as 30 minutes. All right, now to our neighbors in Southern California who are in for one of the strangest weekends in decades. All eyes will be on the forecast through at least Saturday night as the storm system brings in heavy rain and snow. Yes, to the LA County mountains. This spells trouble, especially if you are traveling or know anyone traveling along the grapevine area. So please give them a heads up. Those strong wind gusts could make it really hard for drivers and if there's one thing about the grapevine you're sharing the road with a lot of big rigs and CHP wants you to be ready and aware. You don't want to get caught in anybody's blind spot especially bigger vehicles because um, if the vehicle shifts you know there could be a traffic collision so um, just keep that in mind and also prepare to feel gusts and things blowing against your vehicle possibility for downed trees uh, possibility for, you know, uh, items to be blown into your path of travel. So I uh, really want to encourage everyone to drive at a speed for the conditions of traffic and the environment um, that they're in. Yeah, good advice there. Getting to your destination could be very difficult to impossible in both regions of our state and finding an alternate route could also be tricky. So the best advice, don't go anywhere if you don't have to, but if you must, don't forget your emergency kit, food and blankets and keep an eye on the forecast. Back to you.